I mean, you touched on some earlier on. And um, what, what are the most common leadership barriers that you see of where people are getting in their own way and how, how can they start to resolve them? One of the ones I see very, very often, especially with the, the audience that I have. So those are the leaders that are, have been identified as future stars. And very, very often they get in their own way by wanting to be as knowledgeable as the person who's been there for 20 years. They immediately want to get everything right. They, and for that reason, they don't speak up. They almost get into like a shell, like a fixed mindset. Like if I don't accept the challenge, then I won't lose, you know, kind of, kind of vibes. Where setting them free from that kind of mindset is really digging down into the beginner's mentality, the learning mindset. To say that I am young or I am emerging. I am um, inexperienced as a leader. I'm never going to feel like I'm always in control. I am going to make mistakes. I'm going to say the wrong things. But hell, if I don't know something, I am going to find out how to do it. I'm going to learn. So it's an exciting journey. Because when you adapt that mentality, uh, you go into things a lot more uh, calm and comfortable. You go into meetings without, instead of having the fear of saying something stupid, therefore not saying anything, is you say something. Because your intention is you're asking this question or you're saying this thing because you want what's best for the, your team, the company, and the customer. So for them, well, you can't lose. You know, if you have the mentality that I'm learning, I'm a beginner's mentality, even if you do say something wrong and the senior person in that meeting rectifies you, that's fine because you know deep down your intention was to, is the best for everyone. And that's like sets people free. When you see the young leaders I work with, when they go, that's fantastic because then they actually become themselves. Yeah. And I think back to myself, when I was there, I was the same. You know, you'd be in a meeting with a senior leader, like maybe a one-on-one, -on -one, and you think to yourself, how do they know so much? Why don't I know that? And again, you're so hard on yourself. Yeah. And then you get yourself down and your, your thoughts run away with you and you now they trigger emotions and they don't serve you. And you basically talk yourself. I mean, um, Andre mm -hmm. Agassi, his book, he spoke about when you play tennis, you play against um, an opponent. That's obvious for everyone to see. But he said that you actually play against yourself because throughout the match, you are talking yourself into a win and you're talking yourself into a loss. And if you're a leader, like a young leader, like I just explained, and you think to yourself, when am I able to know that? I'm not good enough. I shouldn't be. I'm a fraud. You're talking yourself into a loss. And for that reason, you're yeah, not going to go anywhere fast. Yeah. You're going to just stay stagnant. You're going to get that fixed mentality where you don't accept anything from anybody. You don't want to, you know, you just want to coast through it and pretend to know what you're, to pretend to be someone you're not. So yeah, set them free by adapting them again as mentality. Well, I think I've actually seen quite a lot of the opposite of that as well, where people feel the need to say something because it's expected or they feel like it's expected right. of them because I'm going to be a future leader. I need to have a say on this, whether I've got something yeah. useful to say or not. And they almost have to make things up or interject where it, and every, you can see everybody rolling their eyes in the meeting, like oh, really who again, and that's the opposite problem, right? Like it's, it stems from the same thing or you're in love. It's the same mentality. It's the same. Um, I've got to say something, even if it's something just because it's probably expected of me. So they're running away. They game, their thoughts are running away with them. Then, um, people are looking at them, the pressure's on them. They're the boss. They need to say something. Um, and that's not the case. 